Youth workers have told this programme that they've taken dangerous weapons off the streets after talking to local school children. They're involved in one of several projects aimed at tackling a sharp rise in knife attacks in Leicestershire. And tonight a teenager from Nottinghamshire is in Parliament to unveil a national report on new ways to deal with knife crime. Jack Heald has been working with teenagers across the UK. We'll be hearing from him in a moment. But first, our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports from Leicester. And what we try and do is we'll get young people like you off the streets. Out in Beaumont Lees with Rene and Catherine. Do you know anybody that's covered an eye? The new street mediators are trying to keep young people safe and they're already getting results. So this is the knife that was attached to the long pole mm. and this was speared into the ground. This weapon was hidden behind a shop. Two children told them about it. It's kind of scary to think that that could have been picked up by an even younger child and could have been used for any sorts of crimes and now it's it's in an amnesty bin and it's locked away. And the fact that they could feel comfortable enough to come and approach us and feel that we could remove that from the streets is massive. They're worried because Leicestershire now has one of England's highest recorded knife crime rates yeah, okay. and for people who live here that's not just a statistic. There's been stabbings over at Home Farm. Um, there's been stabbings down on Strasbourg Drive, down the bottom. Um, down on the Black Path down there as well, there's been stabbings as well. So could this be part of a solution? The street mediators are trying to prevent trouble by offering children activities here at the E2 Community Centre. This is one of 13 projects receiving grants from a new violence reduction network. It's been set up by Leicestershire's police commissioner with money from the Home Office. This project's taken several hundred young people off the streets in the last few months. It's all about building relationships and building trust so that the young people who come here really listen to this message. It is a real big issue at the moment. Part of our daily routine with the young people is we have to do metal searches because we just can't put these young people at risk. I have worked with a young person in the past um, and he did get stabbed with his own knife in the top of his thigh. And here in St Matthews near the city centre there was a fatal stabbing last year. Now 20 mums have been given another grant from the Violence Reduction Network. These volunteers from the city's Somali community are setting up their own street mentoring service. The mothers have a, a special power, I think, as a mother. <laughs> they might tend to listen. It takes a village to raise a child, so we need the whole Leicestershire together to tackle this issue as a community, as a one community. It's trying to prevent violence from happening in the first place. Um, when it does occur, it's about intervening as early as possible to try and prevent it from escalating but it's also about when violence becomes more entrenched making sure that we've got a variety of different responses to that so we can prevent it from occurring again. It's all about breaking a vicious circle by offering children hope. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Leicester.